<laughs> Where's my back? Where's my back? Ha! Ah, still here. It's been a tough year. Oh God! All this alpha labor is really cut into my profits. I've made so many kids wishes come true. Can I also make a wish? Can I, Santa Claus, have small business to get some money on the side? Uh huh. Oh Jesus Christ! I heard that you want to make some money. Yeah, I want to sell this as many as I want. Batch producing. Right. It's on your right. Wow. Good luck with making money. Wait, 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 what? All right, so you're probably wondering how Santa Claus prepares so many gifts for the people around the world. And the secret is X2 S1 laser machine. So today we're gonna step by step show you how to batch produce Christmas ornaments with X2 S1. And by the way, this time we use ceramic material. And this time we're gonna use 40 watts diode laser module. Just check it out. You need to prepare X2S1 diode laser machine. Air assist, sponge, plywood, white paint, ruler, 10 pieces of ceramic ornaments, and laptop. I'd like to emphasize why we use the white spray, white paint. That's because technically you cannot directly laser engrave on the surface of the white ceramic with the diode blue laser. But there's two ways you can do it. First, you can try to use the marking sheet, which we previously showed you in our Easter how to video. You can just put the marking sheet on the surface and soak in the water for about half an hour. But today I'm gonna show you something easier. Just use the white paint to spray on it, and then you can just use the blue blue dial laser to laser engrave on the surface. So before you use the white spray, you have to clean the surface, okay? Just like this. And we're gonna use the white color paint. Just shake it. And spray on it by 45 degrees. Not like this, should be like this. So just in case if the color is not enough, you can rotate the whole thing to another degree like this, and spray it one more time. And then you're gonna wait for three hours until they are dry, okay? Yeah, after finished painting, you have to wait like three hours until they're dry, so they are ready to be laser engraved. But before that, we're gonna make a mold to make the whole process much easier. Just place the plywood inside, make sure it's parallel. And the red cross should be on the surface. Make sure to adjust air assist to auto. Let's open the X2 Creative Space software and connect your device and choose laser flat and we're gonna match the distance between your object and your laser module. And we're gonna set up air assist. Let's clear here. For the cut, we're gonna set as four. For the engrave, we're gonna put in the one, okay? And then we're gonna insert a circle. Remember to hold your shift on your keyboard, then you have a circle, a regular circle. And we're gonna set this layer as red. So next, we're gonna measure the diameter of the object, okay? Okay, it's 73.64. Then go back to our software. We're gonna make this one a little bigger. So we're gonna set up 74.5. And we're gonna click array as we're gonna batch producing ornaments. We're gonna set five columns and two rows and 10 and 20. There you go. And next, we're gonna insert a line. Hold your shift on your keyboard and make sure it's a vertical. Okay, so make sure this line is right in the center. Cool, and then we're gonna click ray. We're gonna set five columns and one row. As we set the space, 
at 10 photocircles. So here we're gonna set the space as like 74.5 plus 10. So it will be 84.5. There you go. And why we wanna set five lines here? Because we wanna find the center of these circles. And as there's a small hole on your object, the hanging hole, so we wanna make sure the direction is right. And next we need to set up another line. Same story, hold your shift on your keyboard and make a crosshair. Why we do this is because we want to synchronize your software and your hardware. So later on, we're gonna set a position and the starting point and the ending point. So for a better position setting up, you need to have a crosshair here and you're also gonna have a cross, red cross on your plywood. Then they can synchronize together, okay? So everything is fine. Yes, now we're gonna mark the processing area. So let's just click start marking. When you use X2S1 laser machine, you're gonna use the twin point positioning function. It's gonna help you to better find your working area. So just move your laser module to the top left. And push the button in the front. And now we're gonna find the ending point. Just move your laser module to the bottom right. And push the button one more time. This is the ending point. And close the lid. And move them to the center. Cool, and now we're gonna set up the parameters for the two layers. For the green, we're gonna laser score. So we're gonna set up 70% power and 300 for the speed. And for the red, we're gonna cut with the plywood. So we're gonna set up power at 100% and the speed will be only 10. And that's it. And let's hit the process. I hit start and push the button in the front. Hello! Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because the Black Friday is coming very soon. We're gonna have so many special discounts on our live stream. Okay, it's done. Actually, you can laser engrave as many as you want. You can definitely make maybe 20 or 30. It depends on your size of your object, okay? So in this case, we just show you the 10 of them. So let's just move them. It's very good all the pieces and put them back and right now we're gonna place all the ceramic object onto it so for example this one make sure this hole is parallel with this line okay this is why we did lines here And move your laser module, make sure the red cross is on the surface of your ceramic object. We're gonna do the measurement between your laser module and the object, okay? Let's go back to our software. And next, we're gonna move the laser module and make sure the red cross is gonna coincide the crosshair we just laser engraved. Yeah, great. And let's drag the square. The same story, make sure the red cross coincide with the crosshair. And let's zoom in. And we click here. I think that's perfect. Cool. Okay, let's drag all the patterns on it. Make sure all the patterns are in the center of your object. And we're gonna ignore the red one as we already finished the process. We're gonna only laser engrave all the patterns on the ceramic, okay? Let's choose the black one. So the power will be 100% and the speed will be 100 millimeters per second for only one pass. So everything looks good. Let's hit the process. I hit the start and push the button one more time. Wow, look at them, it's beautiful, isn't it? Just check out every single one. All the lines, all the small details are really fine. And the reason we use this mode, just don't want them to move during the laser process. 
Wow, it's really cute. I really love them. Okay, let's just take out the mold. And I think this one is a little cuter. Do you think this one looks at me? If you think the surface is not really clean or maybe some debris, just use some sponge uh, with some water and alcohol to clean it. You see, that's not difficult, is it? So that's how you vet produce Christmas ornaments with X2 S1 laser machine. You can also try the laser engraving on the knives, earrings, and coasters, everything. So please share your work about your Christmas or other holiday season gifts or products in the comment center. And see you next time.